What's up, Rogue Nation? My name is Cody Buffington, and I explore secrets all around the world. Today, we are at the Bubble Hotel in Wadi Rum, Jordan. Our driver has taken us about two hours down to Wadi Rum, but to get to our hotel, it is in the desert, so we have to stop at this point, and a, a 4x4 car will be taking us well, into the desert. <laughs> this is why we needed a different car, apparently, because uh, we're going off-roading. This, uh, this is definitely a little rough. I see why our car now could not make it out here. This is crazy. We're passing now from the regular sand, which you imagine a regular desert would look like, into the red sand over there, which is what makes Wadi Rum so different than other deserts, and what makes it a great location for Mars film sets. All right, 20 minutes of bumpy ride later. We've made it to the UFO Hotel here in the middle of the desert, and I gotta say, it looks incredible. you guys welcome to the bubble hotel here in jordan this is where we are staying for the night an incredible dome out in the middle of the desert in wadi rum and just look at this view this is our living room right here this is some kind of luxury futuristic space living room and man this is our view here it's like we are with matt damon out in mars but instead of being stranded out there with him we are out there enjoying this beautiful beautiful view it just connects it's like we're in uh you know some kind of mars a luxury martian dome this is the bedroom it is incredible and uh look at this two beds a giant air conditioner it sounds i feel like i'm echoing in here but it's so cool and then we have a very very nice bathroom over here check this out you got your little vanity right there and then you also have this beautiful beautiful shower over here we had to save up a lot of money we've been staying in a lot of crappy places so that we could afford one night here and then just over here which we'll go check out later tonight you have a hot tub built into the deck of our little uh our little hotel area you got a nice outdoor seating area and you can see this is what the pods look like from the outside this is what our uh, our other guests are looking at we're gonna go actually hop on a little tour right now around Wadi Rum, a Jeep tour, go see what it has to offer, and then we'll come back here and show you guys this place at night. So we've come to a viewpoint here, and this is actually a viewpoint that is used in the movie The Martian, one of many space movies that take place here in the Wadi Rum Desert, the most recent being Aladdin. And what's nice about Wadi Rum is that they limit the amount of campsites that are allowed to be here. There can't be any five-star hotels that go up. They can only have campsites, and they limit it to about 20 campsites per area, so they can't have these massive, massive hotel chains coming out here. Okay, so we just came back from our couple hour desert tour and oh, wow, it's actually cold out here. <laughs> we have a hot tub here, which I figured if we're paying all this money, we should probably use. So we got a hot tub, gonna enjoy it for a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of taking the view. It's a nice, nice little uh, night out here. Oh God, let's see. Is it night? Oh, it's actually warm. Amazing. Oh. This is great. Just looking up at the mountains here in Wadi Rum. It's a nice like lay down hot tub too, so it's just super comfortable. I imagine if there's stars out here, if it was a nice clear night, you'd be looking up at the stars. I don't know if we're gonna get that tonight. It's kind of cloudy, but uh, man, what a view. How do you turn on the bubbles? Oh jeez, <laughs> I found them. Oh. All right, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> All right, so I just got out of the hot tub and now we are heading to the dining hall. That is the massive tent where we checked in and there's a whole bunch of dining areas. We're gonna go see what's for dinner because it's included as well as breakfast. So that's pretty cool. And we're walking down this 
very nice lit path. It kind of looks like we're on a plain runway track right now. All right, so we just got our food and this is what just came out of that little dirt ditch. This looks amazing, the rice, potatoes, and I got even a Greek salad on the side. So we got some good vegetables for once. So I'm excited, I'm excited. It's good, it's really good. The vegetables are so fresh. All right guys, so it is now the morning. It's about 6.45 in the morning. We actually got up at 5.30 hoping to come up here and catch some sunrise at 6 a.m. Uh, it seems like in the desert though, especially here in Wadi Rum, the sun doesn't seem to rise. It always stays behind mountains and stuff. So if you are trying to catch sunrise and you're trying to do it on a camel, which we were originally gonna do, you might wanna skip that. But if you're not worried about it, I would definitely recommend going to do a camel at sunrise because you can, you can ride around on the camel here, see these incredible mountains in the background. You're just not gonna have a giant sun flaring in the back behind you. But it is a beautiful sight this morning. We've come out here. It's a little windy, a little cold once you're here in November in the desert. So we woke up and we were a little chilly, but it is this beautiful, beautiful sight behind me. This is definitely a unique experience. I know I've been staying at very uh, kind of cheaper Airbnbs, $20 Airbnbs, so that I could afford this one night here. This was almost $400 just for one night to stay at this uh, bubble hotel, but it was quite the experience. You had dinner, breakfast, all included, and you had this luxurious bubble for the night. So for me, I think it was definitely worth it coming here to experience this. There's a hot tub. You got to see the giant uh, panoramic view that they offer from the living room, and sleeping in it was extremely comfortable. So for me, staying here for one night and staying at cheaper places the rest of my trip was definitely worth it. Because like many people, a Wadi Rum is at the end of their trip. Usually you follow the same route. So when you are at Wadi Rum, it's gonna be your last day or two here in Jordan. So it is kind of nice to spend that little bit of extra to enjoy your trip. Also a point to mention that this right here, this bubble hotel, it's about 400 US dollars a night. On the other side of this rock right here, it's actually owned by the same company. There's another one called the UFO Hotel, which is just under $300 a night. So if you do wanna go for a little bit of a cheaper option, they have a very similar experience just on the other side of this rock. So this is the common area where everyone comes for food, drinks, reception from the Bubble Hotel as well as the UFO Hotel. All right, you guys, so we are now heading out of the desert. We're gonna head actually back to Amman today. So about five hours from now, we'll be in Amman and then we fly out, fly out later tonight back to New York City. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Jordan series as well. If you're new here, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, Rogue Nation, explore the world. Three hundred meters. All right. Just. All right. Breathe, Cody. Take the shot. Oh, we got him. <laughs>